Global Banking and Finance Review Awards highlight the innovation, achievement, strategy, progressive and inspirational changes taking place within the global financial community. The awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes who've excelled in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time we're pleased to offer FBS Forex Traders a GBAF award. FBS has over 7 million active traders and over 487 million opened orders. There are 196,000 partners who are based in over 190 countries. FBS offers 24-7 support in 20 languages and partners can benefit from special promotions and bonuses. Global Banking is pleased to offer FBS an award for Best Forex Broker Thailand 2017. FBS is based in St. Petersburg, Russia, where we were able to speak to Elizabeth Belugina about the award and the FBS success story. Well, hello, Elizabeth. Thank you for joining us from the FBS studios in St. Petersburg in Russia today. And first of all, congratulations on the award from Global Banking and Finance Review. Thanks a lot. We are very glad. Well, let's take a closer look at the work of FBS as it is today. Uh, you were established in 2009. You've been operating since then. What kind of advantage do you think that offers your clients? Uh, well, FBS celebrated its ninth birthday in February. And soon thereafter, in March, we reached a very nice milestone of 7 million active traders. We continue to expand and provide financial services to traders all around the globe. It is our honor to provide financial opportunities and growth to each and every client who wants to join FBS. We make it our goal to provide the easiest deposit and withdrawal methods for individual regions, um, professional analytics in 13 languages, tight spreads and six different account types. The latest addition being the ECN account with a floating spread starting from negative 1 pip. Well, that's excellent. What would you say the main drivers were within the Forex industry at the moment? In 2018, Forex market returned to trading on the risk sentiment. Geopolitics with its wild unpredictability is surely a major driver. Statements of global leaders, of the US leader, North Korean leaders and others have already had great impact on the market and I think that it will continue uh, in this way. Also, Brexit remains on the menu and the further we go, the more serious the situation becomes. And Forex trading is usually very closely linked to the policy of central banks. The major ones have either started reducing monetary stimulus and tightening policy or moved closer to it. We see that the period of policy accommodation after the global financial crisis is finally coming to an end. So we see that all things equal, currencies with higher interest rates should have higher exchange rates, but that will happen only if risk sentiment is favorable and traders are searching for yields. Well, I suppose like all financial investment, there are always risks. Can you describe what some of those risks might be? There are many. The main one is certainly that the US Federal Reserve will have to raise interest rates slower than anticipated, and this will happen if US inflation declines. The problem of low inflation can make the European Central Bank uh, reduce its monetary stimulus uh, slower. And if the Bank of Japan does reduce its monetary stimulus, it will be a major risk for the market, because this event is not priced in yet. Also, political risks are related to the rise uh, to power of political parties which are uh, more populist. This happened in Spain and in Italy. And I'm worried about the US stock market because it reached record highs in January and now a big correction may be coming. Much will depend on the policy of Donald Trump on the success of fiscal stimulus program and on the absence of external shocks. Speaking of which, the last but not the least is the current escalation of trade wars. Trade is certainly a focus of President Trump and this is indeed a major risk. Yes, I understood. Now, there's been a lot of talk about cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, etc. Do you think there's a future for that kind of service? Well, cryptocurrency market madly hit it up in 2017 and it went up searching for the moon. 
This year we see that things came back closer to the Earth. And if we make the long-term forecast, I would say that um, the answer to this question lies in the fate of the blockchain technology. The problem now is that although blockchain is a truly revolutionary thing, we can't be sure that um, it will really replace the technologies we have today in banking and finance. Large players are quite satisfied with the current environment and they may actually lack the incentive to switch to the new technologies. That's why uh, we see uncertainty for blockchain and consequently for cryptocurrencies. I would say that it is certainly a um, good idea to own some crypto assets in case they really are the future. Uh, but you need to be ready to say farewell to that amount of money because a sane investor can't be too pessimistic in this case. And as for the short-term crypto trading, uh, well, it is certainly extremely exciting and has great potential, but you need to have a lot of time and um, have high tolerance to stress. Well, I suppose time will tell. What kind of advice can you give those who are interested in trading and taking that up as a career? To begin with, I think uh, you have to put a lot of effort in your education. You need to read, watch and practice a lot. Remember that um, risk management is as important as market analysis. And also you need to be aware that the market is living by expectations and it's necessary to look deeper than just at the current events. A good trader needs to understand how the situation may evolve. I would uh, recommend each trader to find uh, his or her own trading style and strategy and try to combine the benefits of both fundamental and technical analysis of the market. Finally, don't be in a hurry because there will be also good trading opportunities so you will also be able to enter the market and have a good trade opportunity. And finally, enjoy what you are doing. I think this is very, very important. Well, that sounds like a good policy. Looking back to 2017, FBS actually opened numerous new operations. You had new offices, uh, several seminars and workshops. What should traders be looking for in the way of development from FBS in the coming months? FBS has many developments all year round. In 2018, so far, we held a huge traders party in Surabaya, Indonesia, and we also introduced new payment systems and local banks for clients' convenience. FBS took part in Financial Expo in Bangkok and held numerous seminars in Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Egypt and more. Our Korean office has expanded charity work to Africa. We launched cryptocurrency trading and plan to launch copy trading this April. And um, finally, about our promotions, they are at the highest level they've ever been. There is $50 no deposit bonus. Uh, there is uh, iPhone 10 for most active traders. And the latest excitement is our contest, FBS Football Journey, in which the prizes are all-inclusive VIP tickets and trips to the biggest uh, sports event this summer in Russia. We are constantly adding new things. There will be a lot of new expos, new offices, new promotions. And FBS clients may feel rest assured that FBS will continue its uh, global dominance on the forex market and will keep making their dreams come true. Well, I hope that certainly is the case. In the meantime, Elizabeth, thank you so much for joining us from St. Petersburg today. And once again, congratulations on those awards. Thank you. Thanks a lot. It was lovely talking to you.